morning, good evening, good afternoon. Once again, back to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Back to Monday morning now. Oh my goodness, what happened to the weekend? Well, the weekend came and it went in a flash. <laughs> That's what happened to the weekend. But we're here, we've got four parts of a whole news, actually, you know, three parts of a whole news, you know, three parts of a, you know, three quarters. Of the, anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, we've got some comments in regards to how Arteta has destroyed a midfielder. Has he destroyed a midfielder? I'm not so sure about that. And also, we've got some comments about top four. Is top four for Arsenal out or is it in? Is it, are, we, are we in it? Are we out of it? Or were we ever in it? That's what I'm trying to say. Um, there's also some other... Oh, uh, yeah, there's a reminder about Monday, so which is today's Monday, we've got the return of the Canon Project. I'm going to be joined by... Um, we're going to pile them in now. Pile them high, sell them cheap. We're going to be piling in with uh, at least four four um, contributors. We've got one person who is making uh, their uh, Canon for the TV uh, debut. And we've got one who's uh, making a comeback, comeback trial, and actually a couple of guys who've uh, yeah, been been regulars on uh, on Canon for the TV over the last, uh, how long? A long time, a long time. But welcome on uh, this, this Monday morning show. And we're getting this one into this one on the other side of this music intro. Ah, oh, this one's going to be a short one. It'll be a short one. Yes, indeedy. Welcome back to Canon for the, the channel. For Arsenal fans all over this was the Monday morning show, uh, two minutes after the hour of 11 a.m., at least over here in the UK time. And uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to Canon Foy TV and helping us grow and help us to grow by subscribing. That's what you need to do. Um, today, well, I'll be back later on. I know I'm, I'm, I'm saying we'll be back having started the show yet. <laughs> but it's going to be a bit of a double header. A bit of a double header? A double header. We're coming live now, and later on this evening is going to be um, another segment. Where is it? Where is it gone? Where is it? Another instalment of the Canon Project. There is no easy talk uh, coming this Friday because uh, for us, uh, you know, religious types, um, Friday, uh, Good Friday. Um, I don't want to be doing. Oh, I'm not going to be doing any any content uh, live shows. So by that, uh, we're going to be beefing up every um, show this week. I'll be having a guest or two, or maybe three, um, just give me their thoughts on, on Arsenal, anything Arsenal related. And, 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 and that is it. That is it. So let's get into the first one. The first one is in regards to, oh, my goodness. Oh, God. Let me kind of limber up for this one. Let me get, get myself ready. Um, a particular person has said uh, Mikko Arteta costs Arsenal a chance to have one of the best midfielders in the world. Arsenal boss because it has been told that Matteo Guendouzi is en route to become one of the best, the game's best midfielders as the Frenchman's uh, Gunners exit edge closer. The, the 22-year-old has spent uh, the season back in uh, his home uh, country of uh, France on loan of League One uh, outfit Marseille, where the game uh, has gone from strength to strength. So much so, in fact, that his current manager, Jorge uh, San Paolo, Sampaoli uh, believes that Guendouzi will soon be regarded as one of the finest midfielders around. Speaking ahead of Marseille's home clash against uh, Montpellier on Sunday night, Argentine told the um, reporters that he, Guendouzi, is on his way to becoming one of the best midfielders in the world. If that is the case, Arteta could be uh, left kicking himself for sanctioning his exit and arguably uh, making the former Laura talent position in North London untenable. The relationship broke down between Arteta and Guendouzi is well documented with the pair for a fantasy eye to eye on a limited amount of time they were both at the club. Guendouzi spent just half a season under the Spaniards' stewardship. It was during a project a restart where the cracks first start to, uh, to appear. Most notably in the second game since the resumption of the Premier League following the COVID enforcer suspension, Arsenal made a trip to Brighton, a game that saw Guendouzi uh, come to blows as, with the seagull striker uh, Neil Molpe. Arteta was uh, thought to be furious with the Frenchman's conduct, with only worse during uh, the mid-season to a trip to Dubai uh, that ultimately spelled the end of Guendouzi's time at the Emirates. He was swiftly sent on loan to the German outfit Hertha Berlin uh, the very next season. 
Um, well, I know Sam Pauli is just saying that he, you know, he, he soon will be regarded. To me, that's that's neither here or there. I mean, he's no longer a, a, an Arsenal um, uh, asset, I would say. So uh, we'll leave it there. I've always tried to draw the line under players who have left Arsenal. A former number 10, uh, a former captain is out in Barcelona scoring uh, freely, and good luck to him. And with Guendouzi, I don't really want to be talking about that, but I just have... I just have. So you can give your thoughts about the situation with Guendouzi. Or are you tired, like myself? Being tired, man. Tired about talking about Guendouzi. But good luck to him. Good luck to him. Um, the second news segment, I'm just trying to remember. What, what did I write down? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Let's put the manager's face up for this one. Um, this one's coming out from what's it, the, 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 the Guardian, I believe. No, the Telegram. It says, um... Sorry, the Telegraph says um, three problems Mikel Arteta must solve to save Arsenal's season. With injuries to key players um, upsetting the balance of Arteta's team, if there ever was a balance, he must now find urgent solution to a number of major problems. Uh, Arsenal's push for Champions League place is at risk of uh, falling apart um, after their meeting with Brighton brought their second defeat in a week. With injuries to key players upsetting the balance of Mikel Arteta's team, the Spaniard must now find urgent solutions to their three major problems. Now, I, I, I just, I went as far as that point, but I brought up my three that um, Arteta and Arsenal have to solve. So the first one is Arsenal don't have backups for Tierney and Tommy Ashu. They're probably thinking, well, what should they do, Alex? Because Sergio Suarez has, has um, filled in relatively well for uh, Tommy Ashu. So okay, fair enough. Then what about Kieran Tierney? What about Kieran Tierney? Because we, we've been, I mean, it's been like Groundhog Day. Tierney suffered a knee injury last year. This year they brought, well, it wasn't this year, you know, they, they got um, Nuno Tavares as backup. And now we won't even use him just because he made a couple of mistakes. So I'm going to stick to that, that we've got to find a solution to that problem there. I also don't have solid backups for Kieran Tierney and Tommy Ashu. Then the next point that Arsenal need to solve. Erdogan and Smith Rowe are, are better separately, uh, need stronger midfield. I've always thought that even when Erdogan played um, the, the first time when he was on loan to us, they're just similar types. They're just similar. They're too similar. And they do occupy the same space. They do. And last but not least, Lacazette isn't good enough up front. Arsenal uh, have loads of possessions up uh, to the 85th minute and only one shot on goal. Just not good enough. It's not good enough. Ah, dearie me. And the last one, I think we'll probably keep his face up. <laughs> keep his face up, his vote race up. Mick Arteta can solve Arsenal issues by dropping uh, two players and uh, making uh, technical tweaks. Well, no doubt Mick Arteta needs to make some changes fast as the Arsenal top four hopes will disappear in front of his eyes. And he may need to drop Emerson Fro and Lacazette and return to the 4-2-3 on formation in order to get things back on track. Um, I, I do have other notes, but I can't bother to read the other notes. <laughs> I really can't bother. But um, what, do, do you believe or do you think or are you reflecting and saying, no, actually, Arteta needs to make some severe changes. What changes do you think Arteta needs to take to, you know, to, to salvage some remnants of a, of a top four finish? Now, I've put up a poll within the last, let's say, uh, 10 minutes. And I thought, you know, let's just see how people think about this. It might upset some people, might not. So I'll go back uh, a day and a half ago, actually, when we did the poll in regards to Arsenal lost versus Brighton because of what? What was the reason why Arsenal lost? Was it, well, these were the options. Was it Arteta's tactics? Was it the players or was it both? And I'm quite surprised with, I'm not, I'm not going to read the, the, these out again, but in that 21%, the followers and subscribers have said that it was the players. Oh, in 30%, the followers and subscribers of Canon 4 TV have said it is both the players and the manager. In the first position, on 49%, you believe it's uh, Mikel Arteta's tactics. A little bit surprised, man. A little bit surprised. Uh, and 
then for the uh, members, uh, we uploaded, like I said, with the exclusive content. We uploaded the Kenny Sanson, the latest player profile uh, video uh, for the members first, and then it got uploaded or released on the regular tab for all the subscribers. So true to our word, all the exclusive content would be coming up first for the members because they, they paid for that, that exclusiveness. Is there such a word? Exclusiveness. Exclusivity. I need to look at my dictionary later on. Uh, and then the poll that we've done with, within the last, I say, um, what? Uh, actually, it says uh, 13 minutes. Who should Arteta drop? Out of 21 votes, we've got one thumb up. And these were the protagonists, to use uh, the words of uh, my good friend uh, Unai Emery. The protagonists were uh, Saka, uh, Lacazette, or Smith Rowe. I tell you what, there's not enough space to go to put all the, the players' names in there. And I put all three. So out of 21 votes, on 5% is Bukayo Saka. On 10%, uh, it is all three. On 19%, it's Smith Rowe. And um, Lacazette is out in front on 67%. We've got enough time. We've got enough time. Is <laughs> enough time on that one? Uh, so those or these uh, have been the new segments coming running on this short, sharp Monday morning show. Short, sharp show because I've got to go from here to my mom's to do some DIY work. DIY work at my mom's house. And I've got coming back. I've got some um, some work in the garden here before going live for the uh, the Canon project. Oh, you know what? I'm not even back at my my work placement. I'm back next week. Tuesday. So enjoy all this, these these morning starts, these morning shows here. All right, okay, all right. Let's let's go and see who was joining us uh, on this Monday show. Okay, so we've got. Oh, oh my goodness, let me remove this. There we go. Go to a live chat. There we go. And good morning, Christopher. Christopher says uh, top four, not under Arteta, I think. And not my words, it's Christopher's words. Tottenham is up there with the other uh, three best teams. Uh, we are not. Embarrassing. Okay. All right. Uh, just, 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 that. come on, people. Come on, come on, let's get into the live chat. Uh, I think what I will do, let me just, uh, I, I need to, Make sure that we are streaming live and direct on our Twitter, our Twitter feed. Uh, put this up and instead of one that we are live. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now I did say yesterday because it was Sunday, and I thought it's going to be a short show. Uh, I'm not going to go in hard on on the players or the manager. I end up going for an hour and 20 minutes and going in hard on the players and, and the manager. And I will say again, I, I just find it a little bit, I don't know. I hope the players haven't down tools because I was just having a conversation with um, someone earlier this morning about Arsenal. And um, something, is just, something is up. Something is really, really strange. It's within Arsenal's grasp. I mean... The youngest team in the Premier League, I mean, and so what? So what? The youngest team and what? The youngest team hasn't won any major honours yet. Haven't won any major honours yet. So we're just the youngest team in the Premier League. And congratulations to Mikko Arteta for that. But we have not won any major honours yet. These players have not won any major honours. None of these players have won the Premier League. None of them. But I just find it a little bit strange for the performance, man. Again, I just, I'm, I'm just hoping it's not what I think it might be. Anyway, anyway. Um, I can see the live chat is struggling. The viewers are struggling. And it's okay. But what I think I'll do, because I said it's going to be a short show anyway. Um, I've been talking about the opportunity to earn some um, some passive income. Oops, let me remove this. Let me remove this. There we go. And um, the, the opportunity is open to everyone, but not everybody has an open mind. The first requirement must be and is for you to have an uh, open mind. 
you know, like an umbrella. An umbrella only works when it is open. If your mind is not open to new challenges and trying out different things, then forget it. But if you are that one person who I'm talking to, you just sat there thinking, I'm just tired, Alex. I'm fed up. Uh, I need to, you know, do something different or, uh, you know, I want to try and secure my, 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 uh, the future for my family or myself in the short, medium or long-term, uh, you know, future, then this is for you. You owe it to yourself to reach out. And if you are that person, again, it says not only the serious, not for everyone, send me an email, arsenalrepublic1 at gmail.com. Not for everyone. And I understand it because, you know, not, a lot of people are just happy being part of the rat race. So it's okay. It's all right. But it gets my back up when I know people will complain about their situation and they won't do anything about it. At least try and do something about it. For things to change, you have to change. Oh, my God, I hope things change. You need to change. You have to change for things to change. Have a look at this video, and I'll be back just at the end of the video. I have learned from the life I live that there are opportunities all around us if we will only just look and listen. With opportunities comes risk and rejection, yes. But imagine looking back and saying, I did that, rather than waiting until it was too late. If you want passive income and a sense of personal freedom, act now. This is not for everyone. Not everyone is looking. If you are that person, contact us now. ArsenalRepublic1 at gmail.com So like in the message says, it's not for everyone. This is only for the exclusive five percenters. This five percent of the population are looking to change their circumstances. And the 95 percent will continue to work for the five percenters. That is just the way it is. Not everyone can be at the top. Not everyone will be in the middle. And not everyone will be, unfortunately, at the bottom. So you need to put some, some, some fire in to get some heat. Again, if you are that person, you're thinking, actually, Alex, yeah, you owe it to yourself just to reach out and find out what is the information, what is it about. It does work. How, I do, how do I know it works? Because I'm in it. My wife is in it. My daughter's in it. My brother, my mum. A, a lot of us are in this opportunity earning money every single week. Anyway, anyway. All right. Um, I just kind of probably getting the, the, the feeling, you can feel on my waters, it's going to be a very, very short show. And it's okay. It's all right. So what I think I will do, I'm just seeing something here. I will uh, review the news of today from a Canon 14's perspective. There's been some comments from uh, Jorge Sampaoli saying literally that Mikko Arteta, you know, has lost a chance to, to have one of the, the, the best midfielders in the making. Who is the best midfielder in the making? Matteo Guendouzi. Matteo Guendouzi. Matteo Guendouzi. Uh, and then we spoke about a report that came out in The Guardian, I believe. Three problems Mikko Arteta must solve to save Arsenal's season with injuries to key players upsetting the balance of Arsenal's team. That's down to Mikko Arteta. Uh, he must now find urgent solutions to a number of major problems. Arsenal's push for the Champions League spot is at risk of falling apart after their meeting with Brighton uh, brought their second defeat in a week. With injuries to key players upsetting the balance of Mikko Arteta's team, the, the Spaniard must now find urgent solutions to three major problems. Arsenal don't have backups to Kieran Tierney and uh, Tommy Ashu. Erdegaard and Smith are better separately, uh, need stronger midfielder. Lacazette isn't good enough up front. Arsenal have had, lo had loads of possession, uh, 85, um, up to the 85th minute, one shot on target. And you could have foreseen this was going to happen. This was going to happen. And then we just, the fight, is it the fine margin? My, my, my brother said it's not the fine margins. It's not the fine margins. But surely to beef up the squad. The squad numbers were thin on the ground. Thin on the ground. And we, well, Arsenal and Arteta said, no, we're not going to, we didn't want to waste the money. You know, Vladovic was our target. You're only going to buy one player in the January transfer window. Really? Really? We're very, very thin on the ground now. No Thomas Party, no Kieran Tid. These guys are both uh, out for the season. No coming back this season. 
So you should have beefed up the squads. The youngest squad in the Premier League, well, congratulations for that. But they have not won any major honours. None of them have won the Premier League. None of them. Sacrilege. Um, let me put his face back up again because uh, the last bit of new segment I uh, spoke about on this uh, Monday morning show was, uh, what was it about? <laughs> I completely forgot it now. Um, it was, yeah, uh, you know, Arteta can solve Arsenal's issues by dropping two players. Who or which players do you think Arsenal should drop? So I brought a, I put a list uh, on the vote of protagonists. And we have had 42 votes now uh, inside uh, 25 minutes. Who should Arteta drop? 42 votes. We've got two thumbs up. The protagonists were Saka, Lacazette, or Smith Rowe. There were just not enough spaces to put all, all 11 players there. So this is how the numbers are fallen so far. So Saka is on 2%. Uh, Smith Rowe is on 70%. Uh, all three of them, well, you haven't heard the third one yet, is 12%, and Lacazette is on 69%. So, undoubtedly, uh, Lacazette is the is the full guy now um, that you guys want to see dropped um, going forward to get back to the 4 2 3 1 formation. Okay. And let's have a look here. I think there's been maybe just one more comment as well from uh, Hello Peace. There's a hi and hi to you. <coughs> okay. I, I, I can see we're quite slow. We're on a slow start on this 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 Monday show. Uh, remember, I will be back uh, later on this evening. I'm going to be back for later on this evening for for, for what, Alex? Well, I'm going to be back for the the current project, of course. That's why we're going to beef up the uh, the number of guests every day this week, apart from I think thur Thursday. No, definitely Thursday. And there's no show, no morning show. No evening show because Friday is Good Friday for us uh, religious types. Uh, so for that reason, we're going to bump up um, the number of guests we're going to have for the evening shows. Maybe maybe the odd um, morning show as well. So look out for that. Uh, the Canon Project is back 5:30 uh, p.m. a UK time. And if you have not subscribed, you're going to miss out because you won't see the notification. You must subscribe if you want to continue seeing us. On this channel of ours all right uh there was something else uh let me remove this um there is another project that we have given our undivided support to and this project that uh, this organization is called a uh, kickoff at three i mean what a name so they're going to have um uh an activity on saturday the 23rd of april so if you live in the uk if you live in london and you would like to attend, then attend. Because we're going to be there. We'll be there filming, interviewing, uh, watching some football being played out, uh, eating and drinking. Well, not, not drinking alcohol, of course. Uh, but, yeah, yeah. but, uh, if, uh, but also, uh, you know, further on from that, if you would like to make a donation, you know, financially, and I know I spoke to Michael, who's one of the um, um, organizers. Um, we didn't actually, we just discussed it. And he said, no, we just want your support. You know, if you can promote or come down and film, which we are going to do. But if you are, you know, you've got, if you're laden with money and you like to make a sizable contribution to this organization, I have left the link uh, to their website as well as to their Twitter account. So you find there's ways there that you can actually communicate uh, and contact both Michael and Ashley, who are, are both uh, volunteers. And they, they created this, 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 this wonderful project here, kickoff at three, the Stephen Lawrence Day, 23rd of uh, April on a Saturday. 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. Look out for us. If you didn't see us, come over and say hello to us, please. Uh, I think I think we're finished now. I think we're, we're finished. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're done. We're done. We're finished. Uh, on a short shot, I did say it was going to be a short, uh, sharp uh, Monday show, and and it, and it is. So I will see you in a, quite a few hours' time for the Canon Project. I'm going to be joined by um, one person who's making the Canon uh, for the debut and some of the other guys who've been featured featured many times on the platform and one is making that they come back uh, appearance on this wonderful channel vows this channel vows has been canon fodder the channel for arsenal fans all over <laughs>